All right, guys, as promised, here I am in the uh, downtown area of Moab, right outside the Love Muffin. So you sit out there, you order at the window, and then they, you can hear the microphone, they call you. It's right across the street from the Homewood Suites, down the road from Wendy's. Straight ahead, only a couple miles, is the uh, Arches National Park entrance. So this is the kind of the beginning of town. Probably about a quarter or a half a mile into it. And then the rest of it is down this way. And it's all a walking distance because you can see how it kind of goes into uh, no man's land. About four red lights, five red lights up. He's got a tag on that razor, so I guess he can go on the street. Well, let's take a little walk and um, see what we got here. That was a great burrito I just had and the best cup of coffee in a long time. Check out this rig here, a real overlander. He's got his traction boards in the back. Look at that tire mount. That's pretty cool. All this storage stuff. Got his Yeti uh, bottle opener there. This is one expensive machine here. Look at the tires on that thing. It's a F550, that's a big, big chassis. And it's a Lariat package, so you know it's got some options in it too. Christina sent me some pictures. Um, of course, she's got the winch in the front, the light bars. That's more my style right there. Fancy looking hotel down that way. Oh, here's a food truck park where I was watching on YouTube. Yeah, that's where you can get you some uh, Chinese, Mexican, and uh, yeah, here's one right here. Uh, he's not in the park. They talked about that guy too. So yeah, I'm seeing everything I saw on YouTube. Moab Coffee Roasters. Kind of noisy, isn't it? Here's a rental. And like any of these places, you can you can spend yourself some money. They got some uh, some high dollar shops in here. Might have to get me a T-shirt though. Moab. Definitely gonna get a T-shirt. They got them in every store. It looks like. <laughs> so there's Arches, uh, where I'm gonna go into today. It's Sunday morning, so a lot of things aren't open yet. I guess. Oh, here we go. Fine Mexican cuisine. Miguel's. I tried to call them. They weren't open. Well, oh, I'm getting warm now. Gotta take this jacket off. It was in the 40s last night. I was cold in that truck. So I had a sleeping bag that I un unrolled and put on top of my quilt. And then, of course, that was great. See this basket rack this guy has with the bins on the top? That's exactly how I should have done it. A lot more accessible than what I've done. It's exactly what I should have done. Here's some hats, more shirts. Wells Fargo, need to get you some more hundreds. There's the information center across the street. 
So this looks like half, halfway. Got these little side streets here. This guy was a snorkel. Toyota Tundra. So these guys are going to end up being the vehicles I see today when I go to the uh, off-roading area. <clears throat> this is definitely a cool place to come. Look at that, four-wheelers coming in. Look at that Razor, four-seater. Yeah, they're rolling in today. This is a breakfast place, lunch. What's it called? Gloria's. Oh yeah, here's a... Here's a guy that goes to Hell's Revenge. I know he's been on it. Look at all the t-shirts. Look at all. them where public facilities are but they already had it all roped off in the back to dine in and use the restroom so I didn't want to bother them looks like the end of the road for me I see a 7-eleven and a pizza hut way up there on the left and there's probably some more things on up a couple more blocks but I'm gonna walk back to the love muffin Everywhere you look around here, it's just stuff. All right, guys, thanks for viewing short walk of downtown Moab.